So guys, before we get into the video, I would just like to quickly thank bookmark.com for sponsoring this video. If you don't already know, Bookmark is one of the easiest and coolest website builders out there. The site lets you create your own personal website, whether that be a design portfolio or an online store in the matter of minutes. It uses an AI website builder, meaning you can create a site with no technical knowledge whatsoever. So if this does interest you, make sure to head over to bookmark.com. The link's in the description. You can find more information on how to get started there. What's up guys? visual here but you can call me James and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a duotone effect using Adobe Photoshop. So guys, as many of you may already know, this effect was actually introduced last year from Spotify. Although it was around before then, that's when it became popular. However, to this date, I don't really see this effect used too much anymore. So I thought I would go ahead and make a tutorial on how to actually do this. Although it is really simple and mainly involves gradient maps, I'm gonna show you the best way to do it and also show you two color schemes that you can work with. Once you go ahead and follow this tutorial, you will then know how to actually create this effect and you can use this for things such as photo edits, thumbnails, banner designs, Designs, whatever it may be. However, before we do get started, it would be much appreciated if you could leave a like on the video and without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first step to actually create this effect is to get yourself an image to work with. So um, for me, I'm using a picture of Kanye West. No, I'm joking. I'm using an image of Drake, which I found off the internet. I believe this is a magazine called Fader. Uh, the image is just really high quality and that's why I chose to use it. So once you go ahead and find your image, you can drag and drop it into a brand new photo Photoshop document of your size and you can begin to follow the tutorial. Okay so first of all what we are going to do is make a brand new layer so go over to the right hand side select the new layer icon and now you want to make a plain white background so to do this there is many ways to do it but I'm just going to grab the rectangle marquee tool I'm going to select the whole image I'm going to right click go to fill I'm then going to select the contents as white press ok and as you can see now we have a plain white background. Now I'm going to go ahead and name mine as background and I'm just going to place it below the actual image layer. Okay so the next step does take a while but I'm now going to cut out my subject so for me I'm going to use the pen tool there is a variety of ways you can do this however I believe the pen tool is the most efficient and also effective. I'm going to use control plus and control minus to zoom in and zoom out which will help me and this is going to take a while to do so I'm just going to speed up the video while I do so. And I said, Romeo, take me some. Okay guys, as you can see right now, we have penciled out most of the image. The only thing we have left to do is the gap in between here. So once you have done this, all you want to do is right click and go to make selection. Once you've done this, you can enter 0.5 as the pixels amount and press okay once you are done. As you can see, the whole image has been selected. So I'm now gonna grab my rectangle marquee tool. I'm gonna right click the image and go to layer via cut. And as you can see now, we have this image to work with. I'm now going to delete that background layer here and um, I'm also going to now zoom in again and I'm going to pen tool out the remains of the background. Okay guys so once you have your image and the plain white background you now want to add a gradient map so all you have to do in order to do this is press this little uh, circular icon at the bottom you want to select gradient map and a random a random gradient should pop up you want to select it and now what you want to do is choose the third gradient as you can see this already has a sort of duotone effect we have this purple color as the um, shadows and we then have this I believe this is like an orange yes as the highlights you can go ahead and select on the first color and you can find a suitable color to work with so say for example you want to use a sort of like um, bluish color like that and then you also want to use a greenish color um, as so as you can see this works really well you just want to make sure that the first color is a darker color and the second color here is a lighter color and then it will work of course you can use many different colors however I'm going to now share my two favorites so first of all here we have this one which is of course used in the thumbnail of this video so the first color here the second one I have here is more of a greenish one so those are two gradient maps that you can work with for your image once you have found your gradient you can now press ok and add any 
any more effects that you wish to use. I'm going to go ahead and add some color effects. So the first one is going to be a brightness and contrast layer, and I'm going to increase the contrast to around about 25 works well. Now you can go ahead and add some extra details to this image. So the one in the thumbnail here, I added a glare, I added some text and also some shapes. So first of all, in order to add the glare, you want to make a brand new layer. Now what you want to do is grab your pen tool here on the left hand side. You want to select somewhere at the bottom and then drag while holding your mouse, drag the pen tool here to the top over there. It really doesn't matter if it's not perfect, uh, just anything like this will do. And then you want to connect it, go to fill path, uh, select the contents as white. You now want to delete this path. So go over to pass, just press delete and you can alter the opacity of this layer to, I'm gonna say around about 3% works well. Now what we're gonna do is add some text. So I'm gonna grab the text tool here, select anywhere on the screen and start typing in some text. So I'm just gonna type in Drake because of course we have an image of Drake so let's do that. Now the final thing I'm going to add is going to be some shapes so in order to do this you want to make a brand new layer you want to go to your ellipse tool which is on the left hand side and you want to hold down shift while you are doing this so the circles are round and not like ovals like this. Once you hold down shift you can create the perfect circle and then what you want to do is go to stroke here and you want to just select a um normal color so i'm going to select white and you can actually while you're on the while you're while you are on this you want to go ahead and change the pixels here i believe that's what px stands for anyway and you want to reduce it or increase it so i'm going to put mine on a roundabout there and you basically just want to start duplicating these and just create as many circles as you want at any time if you do want to put a circle behind the actual subject all you have to do is go to that circle so here it is you have to right click it go to rasterize type scroll down press control and then select the little thumbnail of your um, image and then just press delete on your keyboard and as you can see it will go behind the subject okay so here we go this is the final image you can go ahead and add more details if you wish but i believe this looks really nice anyways guys that is it for the video if you did go on to enjoy it and it did help you then please be sure to leave a like that would be much appreciated as well as this if the video did help you and you want to see more graphic design videos like this in the future then please consider subscribing to the channel with post notifications on and you will be notified every time i upload a brand new video and finally guys if you want to improve any of your graphic design skills then make sure to check out my design store the link is in the description down below i have a load of packs on there that will help you and yes guys that is it for the video as i said hopefully you did enjoy this has been visual or james and i'm out peace